where you were talking about how it came to be, how your program, how women in the director's chair came to be, mm -hmm. and what the immediate needs it was intended to address, mm -hmm. and how it's kind of evolved over the well, years. It, um, how long has it been around for? Women in the director's yeah. chair has been around for over 10 years now. It started in 1997. Mm -hmm. It was kind of a hundredth monkey phenomena scenario um, actra. Uh, women in Film and Video Vancouver at the time. They're now Women in Film and Television Vancouver. Mm -hmm. And Sarah Diamond from the BAMP Center. Um, we all were looking for um, a way to uh, advance women in the film and television industry. From the actor perspective, of course, we wanted more and better roles for women. Uh, from the women in film perspective, uh, it's a, a very broad perspective. Uh, they were looking at directors and writers and and women in um, film has uh, had run some directing workshops and uh, working with actors workshops. Women in, uh, in actor were looking at you know advancing uh, women's stories, mm -hmm. and uh, and enter at the BAMP Center, uh, a, a wonderful retreat setting, and uh, they have a fabulous uh, facility there with uh, production studios, post production studios, and equipment and staff and we ran the very first session of the program in 1997 with Ann Wheeler as our mentor director. Mm -hmm. It's a very short kind of 10 day intensive boot mm -hmm. camp if you will mm -hmm. and uh, we found that it was so successful and the, the demand or the application subscription was so high that we felt that it needed to run again and again and again. And so <laughs> ten over, years ten years, <laughs> over 10 years later, here we are. And we have, um, we've helped over 100 women uh, in Canada, 100 women directors uh, go through our program. And the outcomes of this program are phenomenal. They, the alumni are now you know, their work is being screened at festivals around the world. They're winning Genie and Gemini nominations and awards and all sorts of festival awards. Now, and Carol, so in your experience working with the program and dealing with the filmmakers, in getting to know them a little mm -hmm. bit, I guess, every time, would you identify this for many of them when you're citing mm -hmm. them going on and producing their work and it being uh, mm -hmm. awarded at various festivals? Mm -hmm. Would you identify the program as a, a springboard in their career? Absolutely. The, the Women in the Director's Chair program is a springboard. These, the women that are coming to us are mid-career. They're not beginners. Mm -hmm. They have some directing experience, whether it's low-budget feature film or maybe lifestyle television series mm -hmm. or experimental um, short films, uh, that sort of thing, mm -hmm. even documentaries or theater directing for example, mm -hmm. and actors crossing over. It's, it's a real opportunity for women to take their career to the next level. What is it about the program that, that is that springboard energy? There are a few things, Patty, that, that mm -hmm. help us do, to do that. Mm -hmm. There are um, elements of mentorship. We bring in senior professionals to, um, to, to assist the, the filmmakers. Mm -hmm. uh, that includes not only a mentor director, who's always a woman, mm -hmm. uh, Cinematographers, um, production designers, sound, mm -hmm. uh, professional actor actors, um, the crew, DGC and IATSE crews, and, uh, and we bring them all in together to help assist. And so there's that mentorship that happens there at the workshop. Mm -hmm. There is mentorship that happens afterwards with uh, fulfilling career goals and aspirations. There is practical experience. Now this is really critical. There's an opportunity to, to practice the craft of directing, which is a, a rare opportunity because it costs so much. Yeah. The, the other thing that happens is that um, our program is not about product in terms of the finished film product. It's the product of our program is the filmmaker it, or the director. Mm -hmm. She is the product that, uh, that we're most interested in honing and, and assisting. So we're process driven. That said, um, we don't uh, expect that there's nothing that happens at mm -hmm. the end. We have a a screening of all the work that gets done, but it's just not for broadcast or festival screening. And the reason we do mm -hmm. that is to encourage risk taking. Mm -hmm. it, it, it's to encourage mistakes. <laughs> yeah. Because we, we consider mistakes learning opportunities. Mm -hmm. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Now, when you you originally said the first few years you had it, the program was really oversubscribed and the number mm -hmm. of filmmakers that like it's really caught mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. Do you still find that ten years later? And if so, if I am a mid mid career professional. Mm -hmm. um, any tips on how I can get into this program? Oh. If, I'm, if I want to, <laughs> yeah. what, how would I go about? Well, we, we're just in the uh, preliminary adjudication phase mm -hmm. for this year's group of directors. And uh, it's so exciting because, in fact, because of, I think, a few factors, which I'll talk about later, mm -hmm. um, our subscription rate has increased by 60% this year. Mm. So we had a lot of applications to go through, and so your question's a good one. Mm -hmm. uh, the way to improve your chances of getting into this program are to be clear about your learning goals, to be mm. clear about projects that you'd like to do afterwards. So in other words, how are you going to use this opportunity after you go through the program? Um, the the uh, a scene, a, a short two to three minute scene is something that we'd like you to submit uh, if you're uh, applying to the program. So. Um, the um, the creativity and originality of that scene is also important. That's mm -hmm. what we're looking at as well mm -hmm. because we're we're developing storytellers and interesting and original stories. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the story is an important part. You don't have to have written it, but it, if it is something that you've written, there is an opportunity in our story incubation module mm -hmm. to actually bring that story to another level, to, to progress with the story itself. We're taking an ep excerpt from it, but um, what you learn in the program, you can apply to the whole script, whether it's a short film script or a feature film, or a TV pilot or whatever. Mm -hmm. It's fiction. It's always scripted, fiction-based. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. um, but this is something that uh, we feel that, and I'll get into statistics yeah. if you wish, yeah. there um, are two areas where we find that there are very few women um, directing, mm -hmm. and that is feature film directing and television series, fiction series mm -hmm. directing, whether it's half hour or one hour. So those are two areas that we're really interested in de developing talent and stories for those two areas. And mm -hmm. we've had some successes. Um, our alumni are going on to direct their first feature films after having a, a very illustrious short film career. They're, they're now going on to direct their feature films. Um, there are at least three of our alumni who've created, and I'm quite proud of this, <laughs> three of our alumni have created actual television series that are playing on, on television right now. One is um, Zarka Nawaz, Little Mosque on the Prairie. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Yeah. I love that show. <laughs> yes. The CBC. Yeah. Um, the other one is, um, uh, is Carol Geddes. Uh, with her APTN series with Panacea mm -hmm. Entertainment mm -hmm. um, and Ash. Mm -hmm. And the other one is fairly new, uh, is Stephanie Morgenstern, uh, co-creator of Flashpoint for CTV. Oh, okay. So okay. those are our alumni, and we're so very proud of them. So now, there's it's television series and feature film. When, when filmmakers come into the pro uh, program, mm -hmm. they can't all, we can't all get in every year, mm -hmm. but those who are fortunate enough to participate in the program and watching them do that, Carol, do you see any sort of, are they surprised by their experience in the program? Mm -hmm. Are they, um, are they, um, uh, is, does their career change as a result? Or is there, so what are the, what, if you had to encapsulate, everyone's an individual, mm -hmm. but what are some of the common aha moments for uh, professionals in the program? Well, it's a transformational experience. Mm -hmm. Women in the director's chair changes lives. Just, that's the simple mm -hmm way to put it. Um, by virtue of being in an artist scenario, uh, a retreat setting, mm -hmm. um, sequestered with fellow filmmakers, with other women directors, um, and supported by professionals all around you and eager uh, volunteers as well who are, who are also learning. There are so many stages of learning. But um, the it's simply a transformational experience mm -hmm. on a, both a professional and a personal level. Mm -hmm. But let me um, put this one caveat on it. Mm -hmm. It's what the participant makes of it. Mm -hmm. So in other words... So it's very self-directed. It's very self-directed. Yeah. We have a structure. It's very clear. It's mm -hmm. a, a very um, tried and true, road-tested mm -hmm. kind of a, a mm -hmm. curriculum and structure. However, it is what each participant makes of it. It's very tailored to, mm -hmm. to filling those gaps and to, to mentoring and coaching um, along the way. 